Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. This is a part two to the first part one that I just did on water. So if you're a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, then this video is for you. And in this video, we're getting a little more into the actual astrology of water, tribe, vibes. The last video was more of like esoteric spiritual download on water. So it's also important to watch. If you haven't watched it, I encourage you to watch it. So let's get into this. So water. Water is... Uh, an element in astrology is all about feelings and emotions. If right away, when I think of water in astrology, I'm thinking of cancer, the sign, which rules the stomach, the boobs, the physical body that is all like made of water, right? It is the essential force of life. If you watch my last video at a very like baseline, real deal, we are physical incarnated beings level, water is essential. So if you are one of those signs, transfer what I said in that first video into this video because very much so the same applies. I asked you two questions in the first video. Are you drinking enough water and what is the quality of the water you're drinking? Holy guacamole, metaphor time! Can we go into an astrology metaphor with water in your birth chart? I'll ask you the same question. Are you drinking enough water as a water sign, as a water ascendant, sun, or moon, as somebody with a Mars in water? as somebody with a Mercury in water, a Venus in water, whatever, are you engaging with water energy enough in your life to feel fulfilled? Because if you are a water heavy being in your chart and you're like suppressing your emotions, like I don't have feelings, no feelings, like no feelings, no passionate feelings, whatever, no emotional feelings, no clinging feelings, no like uh, what's that nostalgic feelings if you like are a water vibe person in your chart and you're pushing all of that away from you I ask you are you drinking enough water because if you have water in your chart There's a reason for that don't ignore water don't push water away Don't try to dry up and be something that you're not maybe you don't have a lot of earth energy But you're just trying to be earth because everybody keeps telling you you're too much water Don't listen to them. Maybe you need to pay attention to question number two friends, which is are you drinking healthy water what is the quality of your water and this is where a lot of water tribe trust and believe I have so much respect for you but this is where a lot of water tribe people get a little lost and this is where they can kind of go wrong or downhill so to speak because you ain't drinking good quality water in your vessel or you're not conducting you're not like a conductor as a water vibe being for the healthy vibration of water maybe you are caught in like the lower vibration of water which is clingy which is excessively nostalgic, which is exceedingly emotional, too much emotion. You can't get out of your emotions to do anything but emotion, right? But rest assured, there's a solution. There's a solution. There's a solution. You don't need to worry because as a water sign, you want to carry that water vibe. You want to keep the water flowing. That's what's really important for water people. You need to keep your water energy in motion energy in motion emotion you have a lot of emotion and water if you watch in nature y'all mother earth teaches all you hear mother earth teaches all and if you look and watch where water is stagnant in the earth when water is just in one place it doesn't move there's no breeze coming over it it's never absorbed into the earth or it takes very long for it to absorb it's constantly just one murky little puddle with no real wind coming over nothing it smells so freaking bad. You know why it smells bad? Because all the anaerobic, anaerobic bacteria that require, uh, they, don't requ they don't require oxygen to grow. So they stink. They smell really bad because they don't have any access to air. They're just living strictly in water in this like staunchy, stagnant environment. It stinks. And that same uh, bacteria is actually really bad for your health anaerobic bacteria okay you want aerobic bacteria that's like the good guy bacteria right but in order to get that guess what you need motion you need your energy in motion you can't be like stagnant in your water vibes or nobody's gonna want to be around you except emotional vampires who want to cling and latch on to your emotional energy and use it for their own advantage okay so if you're a water heavy being your gift is your gift don't let your gift become your curse when your gift becomes your curse you're too caught up in your feels you're too emotionally dependent and as a sensitive water being myself I understand that 
I don't want to offend anybody as I'm saying that. I'm dancing on a very fine line because your sensitivity is your gift and I want to be very clear about that. But when you allow it to paralyze you and you allow it to consume you and you become caught in really unhealthy emotional patterns and relationship patterns that stem out from there, that is when you are not working in flow with your own energy. You need to be creative in some way. Let that water energy out. Express yourself through words, through performance, through something. You need to express yourself with water energy. Cry it out, okay? So that you can come back a little more um, centered to whatever it is you're dealing with. You need to go with your flow and honor your flow. Because Mother Earth is largely water. Your body's over 70% water. Water is vital to every single life form on this planet. So honor the flow of water. Honor the fact that water is mutable. It does change in and of itself. Regardless if you're a Scorpio and you're fixed, it don't matter. You're fixed in what? Fluidity. That's why you're the most powerful sign of the zodiac. I did a whole video on that. But point being, water is a powerful element. And water signs are very, very powerful in everyday life because there is a link. There is a link, my friend, between the water in your body and the water in your birth chart. So with that said, if this video served you, subscribe, because if you haven't subscribed, you should be. I put out daily content, and it's funny and quirky and informative and full of wisdom and stuff. So hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and it served you. Share it with a friend, and um, hit that bell icon because you want to make sure that you get those daily notifications of the content that I put out. And with that said, may the stars be with you, not against you, with you. Peace.